Hello guys, I should can plays, I'm Fabio Pisco Ho! and welcome to my channel. As for this video, I hope that we're going to have the review of the 25.7.1 drivers, but it seems that for the first time in years, to not say the first time ever because I don't really recall, but for the first time in years we're going to have a month without an AMD driver, without the 25.7.1, and I do know that a couple of months ago I don't, well, when I say a couple, I'm thinking in Portuguese, but it's not really a couple, it's some months ago we actually had a, a driver version that released on the first of the um, of the next month and it was called by the previous month so basically they released the driver on the first of that month but with a nomenclature from the previous month instead of being uh, for example imagine with the 25.7.1 drivers if they release the drivers tomorrow like the first of august or the second or the the third doesn't really matter they would still call it 25.7.1 that happened before but it seems that now the driver will be called 25.8.1 at least from what i can tell we have three driver versions in the previous month 25.6.1 25.6.2 and 25.6.3 and still we have no 25.7.1 more than a month after that and all these years after this channel we still have the sponsor Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. And we do need it because some games were released and we need optimization for those games in order to have better performance. Maybe more support for FSR 4, for example, Wu Chang, Wu Chang, <laughs> Wu Chang got released and we still don't have FSR 4 because of course AMD does not have any kind of support officially and the list goes on. So we absolutely need those drivers and more and more support for FSR 4 games. Now you might think, well, but why? Well, if you think about it, there are several reasons, or I, I, at least I believe there are several reasons, and I believe that the next driver or the next drivers will pack lots of new things. Remember about FSR Redstone? Well, I do. FSR Redstone was announced for the second half of 2025, and here we are in the second half of 2025. And of course, I, I'm not saying that it will be released right now or in the next driver versions, I doubt that, but they are working on it, they are most likely working on it. And they also announced Rock'em for Windows with more extensions, making AMD cards work better uh, in productivity applications on Windows. Even AMD, they just announced, I'm looking at it on my, uh, on my phone, of course, and I can see, for example, one day ago, upgrade alert, Download the AMD Software Adrenaline Edition Preview Driver Mainstream Support coming in 25.8.1 WHQL. And this is the reason why I know that we are not going to have a 25.7.1 because they, they already announced that the next driver will be the 25.8.1. Tunlock support for 128 billion parameters locally in Windows on AMD Ryzen AI Max uh, plus 395 128GB processor and Lama Studio, LM Studio, the world's first AI Windows AI PC. It's, yeah, uh, yeah, sorry for the, for the reading. Uh, I'm kind of tired, tired, by the way. They are focusing now with the next driver, which is the 25.8.1. And again, like this one says, it will bring some new things with Rockham. I believe that Rockham will come first because they are focusing now with the Ryzen AI Max Plus 395 with Lama support and so on. And this is one of the things that they promised with the Windows Rockham support for the newer generation cards and so on in the second half of 2025. And if you click on that link and you go down, you have download the AMD Adrenaline Driver Preview or Preview Driver, and you can see it is called the 25.10 RC for the Ryzen AI Max and so on. And basically, Basically, we still have the same known issues that we have in the previous drivers, so we do know that the 25.8.1 will be an improvement over this one. We still have the same known issues, and as for the package contents and so on, it's, I mean, it's basically the same. So, yeah, 25.8.1, we are not going to have a 25.7.1. I do believe that the driver will be released this week, week not week, week, and maybe since we didn't have any versions the past month, maybe this month we, we actually have the driver versions or one driver version with lots of new features, most likely the 25.8.1 or, 
or maybe we're going to have more driver versions like again the 25.8.2 25.8.3 who knows? And if we actually had FSR 4 for RDNA 3, that would be bombastic. <laughs> that, that would be insane. But, but yeah, I'm not really, really leaning on that. Yeah. It's false. No way. Not this time. We created it. Not this time. No, not this time. It's totally made up. Pure fiction. It's fiction. And for this video, I just wanted to tell you that 25.7.1 won't happen. This is the first time in years that happens that we don't really have a driver versions for that month. We may have it late or we might, we, we did have it late in some case scenarios, but not having a driver version 25.7.1 is not a thing. We're going directly to 25.8.1 and that will bring lots of new things and just to add to the end of the video if you don't really follow my channel you can go to my video section i have driver reviews for every single version again if you go there you can see the 25.6.3 25.6.2 25.6.1 and the list continues i also have lots of gpu comparisons nvidia versus amd uh intel included with the arc b580 arc a770 um the newest for example, the, the latest one that I made was the 9060 XT versus the 5060 Ti. I have the 9070 XT versus the 5080. Um, I don't really have the 5070 Ti, so I didn't test it, but I have lots, lots of comparisons and I do keep my tests updated. So when I go to test some new cards, if the games have updates or something like that, I will retest the results in order for you guys to have the most realistic results that you can have. And you can go to those videos and you can see productivity, gaming, the game, the, the normal gaming benchmarks, the rasterization, you can see ray tracing, you can see lots of things. And that's one of the things that you might not be able to see in some other channels, so lay an eye on those. I also have lots of analysis like from lossless scaling and so on and I recently made this video about this super ultra wide monitor from Titan Army which I believe isn't the best deal ever but it is still nice and fun to watch and nice and fun to use. Thank you very much for watching, hope to be here in a couple of days reviewing the 25.8.1 drivers and see you in the next video guys, cheers. Leave in the comment section by the way, which is the best driver till now for you, if it is for example the 25.4.1, if it is the 25.6.1, 6.2, 6.3, or if it is even older drivers like the 24.12.1. And by the way, if those older drivers are the only ones that work for you, maybe you need to kind of reset your overclocking settings. When that happens, just test everything at stock. And if your car doesn't crash at stock, it means that your settings just aren't really stable on the newer version of the drivers. Because that happens more than you think. And by the way, always check your CPU and RAM stability. That's also a thing. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. I'm really sweating because it's really hot. Really hot in here, like 28 degrees now. Yeah, we don't really have AC. Cheers.